So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to cover menu, okay, side menu on mobile on Wix. And uh, some things I like to share with you. So when I started working on Wix, I um, had this kind of like assumptions, certain assumptions, especially when uh, it comes to how my design will look on mobile versus on desktop. So I'll break down some common things or mistakes or thoughts or misconceptions about mobile responsibility. And then I'm planning to show you how to edit on mobile on Wix. So first one is I had this expectation that my desktop design will look exactly the same on mobile. But the reality is that Wix websites are responsive, but that doesn't mean that the desktop version will appear exactly the same on mobile. So mobile devices have smaller screens, so elements will be automatically rearranged to fit better on a mobile view. And uh, Wix does a good job of adjusting your design for mobile, but you might need to tweak the mobile version manually. When I mean you might need, you kind of <laughs> there's a high chance you will need, okay? So, another thing that I've uh, realized is if it looks good on desktop, um, I thought it's going to look good on mobile, but maybe uh, I thought um, that once the desktop version looking good, with the mobile traffic now is surpassing, uh, surpassing uh, desktop in so many websites and you know so you're gonna have to make sure that it's gonna look good on mobile first so here i have this slideshow here and i can go to add section i'll tell you later on a little bit about other thoughts i will share with you like some misconception maybe you go why i'm sharing with this I'm sharing this because i hope you're gonna learn also something you know, because I'm also making this video for beginners. So I'm assuming that you are a beginner and you well, you probably are making some of those mistakes here or probably have some misconceptions, but you know. So now let's say you grab some uh, text here. You go here to and add maybe an image. Okay, and this is how it looks on desktop it looks bad i know it's just for testing but the point that i'm making here and what i want to show you if i click on here switch to mobile you can click on here to switch to mobile and this is how it's going to look but how this is how it's looking here okay so it's totally different even for really simple stuff even if i click on here and on slider and here i'll select stretch and it is this enabled and now it's not stretched did it do something here no, didn't do anything. So that's why you have to make sure it looks good on mobile. And that's why I also like to spend a lot of time, more time even on mobile. So I'm making sure the experience, the visitors will have a good experience. On mobile, you can click on preview here. And you're going to preview here on like how a person uh, will see your website. They have this menu, they have this slideshow, they have this text, and then here an image. And by the way, what I like about Wix is you can hide, hide uh, their hidden things on mobile. So you can hide this text. So hide element and you have this text that's hidden here. And this works great when you have an element that's added on um, your desktop, but you don't want to be visible on mobile. You also have mobile tools, quick action box. So this is helpful. You can add more actions here. You can click here and set up your phone, your email, your name. You can remove, set up Facebook as well. Pretty cool. And also here we have welcome screen. That's something I don't use. Or in him browse theme color. And here we can check our side men, side pages and some things we can add here on mobile. So we can add some social, some uh, boxes, some embedded code, some uh, buttons and images and text. Here we can add uh, this one here. We can link. 
now pretty much what you're gonna have to do of course is just to think of the design and uh, now you're just gonna have to design your site but before i finish this video because i don't want to make this video i'm pretty sure now you know how your site is gonna look like you know the tools like you have the tools you just need to use the tools you have the text you have the image you have uh, decorative hours you'll know exactly how to make your website but probably you won't you'll not make your website from the first time i mean you're gonna make some mistakes errors but you know now another thing that i'd like to share with you is relating to what i'm saying right now is i thought of the website will look great <laughs> when I, I just if i use some templates then right off the bat it's the website will look great but it is farther from the truth so far because you have to put in the work it takes some three months even four a year a year now i'm exaggerating now but you know it just take, takes some time sometimes you can have don't get me wrong i know people created a website even one day and they are not like professionals you don't have to over complicate stuff that's not also my point anyways at this point i'm just rambling so yeah thanks for watching i hope you found this short video helpful if you have more questions let me know in the comment section and take care